Hello everyone and welcome to the DeerCast. Uh, today we've got the first in a series of Calibre videos for you and we thought what better place to start than with my favourite Calibre, the 308 Winchester. So the 308 Winchester came into existence in 1952 uh, and came about through various uh, sort of experiments with the 300 Swift and 3006. Uh, in theory, it's very similar to the 7.62 NATO round, and in fact, you can fire 7.62 military surplus ammunition in a 308. Supposedly, you can't do 308 back in, the, in a rifle that's only chambered in 7.62 NATO, um, but you can read all sorts of conflicting opinions about that online. Uh, it has actually gone on to farther quite a number of other rounds as well. So the 243, which is essentially a neck down version of the 308, the 260, the 7mm 08, uh, and also the 338 Federal. Uh, it's a very, very versatile round. Uh, so you can shoot anything from 110 grain bullets through it uh, up to 230, I believe it is. Uh, and I've fired uh, both ends of the spectrum in it. In reality, it's much more comfortable anywhere between 150, 155, 160, 165, that sort of remit really. Uh, and a typical sort of 150, 155 grain bullet in a 308, which is what one of these are, will be going about 2,800 uh, feet per second. Um, what the 308 is often most criticized for uh, is its slightly sort of loopy trajectory, which in reality means the bullet drops quite a distance um, at, uh, at, sorry, quite, quite a lot at distance. Uh, so I tend to find sort of 150, 155 grain bullets will drop about four inches at 200 meters. Um, and in fairness, that's because it's a heavy bullet and it's, it's not going particularly fast at sort of 2,800 feet per second. You compare that to something like a 243 that's going well in excess of 3,000 feet per second. And that probably only drops a couple of inches, if that, at the same distance. Um, so that's probably people's biggest criticism of it. At the same time, I've loaded uh, some of these up with 110 grain bullets. I've pretty much then got 243 performance from them in terms of they're going 3,000 feet per second and they're only go, um, dropping about, I find, about three centimetres at 200, um, 200 metres. Um, it's a great round uh, all round for hunting here in the UK, comfortably take down any species um, of animal. Uh, I know a lot of people use them on the continent, some people use them in Africa as well. Um, a lot of people say to me that here in the UK it's overkill for deer, but actually I tend to find that a, a heavier bullet going slower does less meat damage, uh, even to the smaller species of deer, uh, than a faster, lighter calibre like the 243, for example. And that, to be honest, is, is why I love it. Um, it's, it's a very gentle round, there's not a huge amount of recoil from it. I've never had it not efficiently and humanely kill something um, without, and without uh, ma massive amounts of carcass damage. It's also widely available. I challenge you to find a gun shop in the UK and probably overseas as well that hasn't got some 308 uh, ammunition in stock. You'll definitely be able to find a rifle chambered in it. Um, it's just an all round great caliber. Um, so there you go. That's our first video on calibers. There'll be a few more to come. Um, if you're a fan, please comment, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll hopefully see you on the next one.